First, I, I want to tell you that, that what happened uh, in Uvalde is a horrific tragedy uh, that cannot be tolerated uh, in the state of Texas. And uh, there is swift action being taken by uh, local law enforcement uh, as well as the Texas Department of Public Safety. Uh, they obviously uh, now know who the shooter was and the shooter is no longer alive. Let me give you some details and then I'll give you a summation about that. Uh, the shooter was uh, Salvador Romas, uh, an 18-year-old male who resided in Uvalde. Uh, it's believed that he abandoned his vehicle and entered into uh, the Robb Elementary School in Uvalde with, with a handgun and he may have also had a rifle but that is not yet confirmed according to my most recent report. Uh, he shot and killed horrifically, incomprehensibly, uh, 14 students uh, and killed a teacher. Uh, Mr. Uh, Romas, the shooter, uh, he, is, he, uh, he himself uh, is deceased uh, and is believed that responding officers killed him. It appears that two responding officers were struck by rounds but have no serious injuries. Uh, the Uvalde Consolidated Independent School District Police Department is the investigating agency and we will provide them and the city of Uvalde substantial investigative and patrol assistance. We're in the process of obtaining detailed background information on the subject, his motive, the types of weapons used, the legal authority to possess them, uh, and conduct a comprehensive crime scene investigation and reconstruction and identify and interview all witnesses and provide victim services and other support as needed. Uh, Victor Escalon is uh, the Texas Department of Public Safety South Texas Regional Director. He is on the scene and everything that can be done will be done. Uh, in addition to that, uh, it is being reported uh, that the subject shot his grandmother right before he went into the school. And uh, there is I have no further information about the connection between uh, those two shootings. Uh, and the subject is reported to be a student, to have been a student at Uvalde High School uh, and is a U.S. citizen. Bottom line is this, however, and, and that is when parents drop their kids off at school, they have every expectation to, be, to know that they're going to be able to pick their child up when that school day ends. And there are families who are in mourning right now, and the state of Texas is in mourning with them for the reality that these parents are not going to be able to pick up their children. Our job is multifold. First, uh, to make sure we uh, address exactly what happened at this crime scene, uh, and then second, to make sure we take that information and do everything that is necessary to ensure that crime scenes like this are not going to be repeated in, in the future and that we're going to be able to ensure the safety and security of our schools. Thank you, I'll, I'll be happy to take any follow-up question about that that they may have. That, that is the information that I have. The, 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 it's my understanding that two officers were shot, but uh, other than the wounds they sustained, uh, they, they will not be fatal shots, they, will, they were going to survive their being shot. All right. Thank you all.